caught up to Superman and Lois. It's it's starting to I'm starting to lose interest, but it's still kind of okay. But now let's bring it home, guys. What if? Did you guys catch the latest episode? Who wants to go first? Who who would you who would you think? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What are you thinking about the series so far? Let's see. I was it. surprised with how this episode went. The other two I enjoyed, but this one was like, wow, they uh they went, they went dark there. <laughs> so I thought they did a good job with uh, today's episode. Uh, they've been doing well the last few episodes. Uh, and I'm pretty much looking forward to seeing what else is going to happen. Uh, especially when we get to the eventual zombie one. That one I think is going to pretty much make me feel a little sad. Because I read the comics. I'm very sad how all that went. Mm-hmm. So hopefully they will. this whole thing will go well. What about you, Sarah? What did you think about the latest episode of What If it was dealing? I don't know what the name of it was, but it was dealing with what if the I guess the Avengers never assembled, right? Well, mm-hmm. what were your thoughts mm-hmm. on that, Sarah? So I haven't actually seen the episode for today, but I have seen the other two, mm-hmm. and I think there is Loki supposed to be in this one right. a decent amount, and you know how I feel about Loki. Um, but overall, I think that um, the What If series was kind of hyped up. And people had a lot of ideas about maybe they're going to be like real stories, like, mm-hmm. you know, like end to end, they're telling me maybe a, a different story than what we've seen already within the Marvel universe. And I know quite a few people were disappointed about how it, it, they're basically just punching in parts of it and they're only changing small things. So I, I did, I was one of those people, I expected a more robust story and i do understand that the time limit it's limited but they could have done a little bit more of a different story instead of just changing one or two things and um then giving us the same information the same scenes the same activities that had happened that we'd already seen so i was hoping for a little bit more but all in all they are and i'm I'm sorry i'm going to say it like this but they are very cute i enjoy them for what they are um they're fun they're easy to watch and um you don't really have to know a lot of background in order to enjoy them so mm-hmm. they, i mean they're they're enjoyable for a wider audience for a uh, <laughs> wider wider audience that's why wide wider wide, <laughs> wide. <laughs> what did i, I, I say <laughs> So anyway, no, <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just teasing. You know, you, I, I know you said, yeah. well. uh, but I, I agree. And I, I mean, but I mean, technically, isn't that kind of what a a what if a series would be or a multiverse? It would be if if one little thing was to change. I mean, yeah, most but of, most it's of the like same butterfly effect. Kind of, but well, no, well, the, not necessarily because if one action changes, it, it creates a domino effect, and it would affect all outcomes. Well, it would it would, ch- it would definitely change a lot of the conversations. But if if let's say if something else was still set in motion, that was still like if I was still scheduled, if the if um if uh the the Black Panther not the Black Panther Star Lord was expected to be uh, taken from the planet and, and taken up in outer space, but they but instead of uh, Star Lord they got uh, instead of Quill they got bl- the Black Panther and they took him instead, and I was still yeah. scheduled to go into work you know that the day after i'm still but gonna, it wouldn't I, change I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't it necessarily would, change for you because you're not i wouldn't i wasn't in I was that at, individual's I wasn't in the life. same i wasn't in yeah. the same city but if, the same... if you look at if you look at that episode in particular since you brought it up so that episode everybody changed in there the whole world changed everybody's attitude changed bad guys became good guys thanos you know is joking about genocide with everybody and petting a dog and he's happy and you know he's one of the good guys now yeah in in the original guardians talking thanos down with a conversation was was Mm -hmm. a weird choice for me (laughs) yeah but i I mean if you look at the difference between that and the guardians of the galaxy it's a completely different world there's entirely different bat guys there was a power vacuum that was created and so you know different everything and so i get I that mean, honestly I, I just enjoy these what ifs because mostly because of the fact that let's be honest everyone has has had these what if scenarios in their head what if i chose not to, to go how, on that date mm-hmm. instead of you know. yeah and always wanted yeah. to see how these would play out so i i pretty much have been enjoying these what if scenarios that they've been like putting in and i've just been enjoying like how like each one is different and yeah, the the one with Thanos like being a good guy is like that's actually kind of weird to see him like being all smiley and being like actually a good guy. But at the same time, I didn't mind it because like 
if you could like convince him like to genocide is not really the answer if there was a different way to go about this then that'd be interesting although i would actually like one where what if instead of you know on his planet instead of actually suggesting genocide because what happened to his planet happened like long before everybody existed Mm -hmm. but i'm thinking what if he was convinced that there was a different path he could have taken Uh and maybe he could have actually been like the uh, a guardian to the galaxy maybe he could have actually created like more uh, su- uh st- resources for people make sure everybody's okay and his uh his followers would actually be good guys as well they'd be like guardians of you know of this different plant different parts of the galaxy as well so that well, would I be think, yeah that i would agree it, it, that, was, that would be that really cool to see but changes in fun- the second one but i i just thought that it was I don't know the, the latest one. I don't, I don't want to get into the latest. One. I don't want to spoil it for Sarah. So, but what would you? I'm sorry, I interrupted. What were you going to say, Sarah? No, I was going to say fundamentally, um, none of them change. So ultimately, their their fundamental characters. If you look at like T'Challa, he was you know the goodest of good guys, being able to influence his goodness all around. That's just mm. kind of him as an individual. So ultimately, Thanos fundamentally didn't change who he was he was still trying to convince everybody that his genocidal tendencies was still a a good option you know so he was still (laughs) thanos but he had made or he was influenced by t'challa's it's, goodness it, which was hard for me to swallow be honest, if, we, just if we were in the it. same room with him i think we all would change for the better good i mean, yeah. I mean yeah i mean it's maybe but i'm sorry but uh, thanos is the one character that was so driven i don't think it's conversation by anybody if i don't yeah, i don't even that's, think that's mr rogers could have talked thanos down yeah <laughs> he was he was focused on the fact that this will save lives if we give because it because it would save resources yeah. and all that stuff. don't underestimate the power of mr roger that man will would probably <laughs> have convinced him to stop right I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure that's probably what t'challa uh, uh did. i mean i mean he probably approached him with that mr rogers I, it was it was the one yeah. thing it was the it was really the reason why i didn't want to do a uh an after a recap of that show on this on the channel is because i was so thrown out well honestly at the very end i i thought the whole episode was oh, was just okay i liked it enough the yeah. thing I loved was when it ended and that dedication to Chadwick hit that then it just then it hit it all hit me it reminded me that you know he, he was the first person to sign up to do the what if series that was his voice and and it, it just that all that whole thing just I was I was like this episode's okay it's funny I like it like Thanos is a good guy now that's funny but then when it faded to black and that message came up I was like oh it it it, it beat me up I couldn't even I couldn't. I, I couldn't even muster the strength to get up on and do a review of it. I was. I knew I wasn't. I wanted to, but I just. I couldn't. But just so you know, there's. He still. He did four more episodes of this, so we're probably gonna see him more later on. That's good. Yeah. You're recording this, so we're gonna that's, see him more. And I gotta look. I gotta double check the credits of this latest episode too, because I'm curious. Uh, I. I. There was everybody that was in there. I could tell, you know, who was there. But there was one character that I was like, did they did they hire somebody else? Because that doesn't sound like, um, like what they had Blackwood. I was like, did, did Scarlett Johansson did she sign up with this? I think she did because these are all recorded these, quite a before, while ago. Yeah, yeah. So these are these were this was on before. before. Yeah, yeah. Was definitely. But this was definitely what it was in, in production of or pre production yeah, because- of Black Widow before the scandal, but. I was, yeah. I just didn't, for some reason, I don't know why it didn't sound like her to me. She was the only one I was kind of thrown off of. Anyway, guys, uh, mm-hmm. share with us. And then uh, until next time, guys, hey, man, peace. Our supporters help make all this content possible. So make sure you check out our Patreon page so you can help us bring you the content you want. Push the pedal to the freaking metal. I'm turned up just like heavy metal. Yo. On another level, push the pedal to the freaking metal. I turned up just like heavy metal.